what's, what's going on y'all? It's your girl, look cute nice right here. How y'all doing? How you been? I'm back with another video, y'all. Check it out. Today, I'm rocking Miss April. She's a sensational uh, curve lace front edge unit. Now, it says lace front, but y'all really... The only part that's lace is the part and just right around the edges. And y'all, she giving me all kind of bougie vibes. You know, like, ooh. And this hair is super, super soft. It shows here in the picture that you can cut the part, but you know, we ain't doing all that. Wait, wait a minute, let me see. It is layered. Y'all see this? This top part is layered. It's a lot shorter. See how short this is? Yes. And it just kind of does what you asked it to do. And I didn't ask it for much. I like this hair. I don't know what, but these uh, sensational, these just lace front wigs, synthetic wigs, they got this mimicking human hair, black African American net hair down pat. Because this hair feels so real, feels so good. Okay, let me quit talking about the hair. But let me tell you, in this video, I want to do uh, an update on this foundation. It is a little slick for me because my skin is so oily. So what I did, I went through my collection and I found my Dream uh, Velvet Matte by Maybelline. Bam! I smushed these two together, y'all, and they had this beautiful baby. <laughs> I did put a clip in with this... Uh, Uni review. So if you want to see the review, the specs ins and out of Miss April, y'all, ooh, keep on watching. It'll be right up. For this eyeshadow look, I use the um, this palette right here, the Petite Pro for April Cottini. I know somebody's gonna ask, and no, I didn't do a review. I'm sorry, guys. It just takes so long to get those videos. So anyway. For primer, I'm going to use this Baby Skin first. It's by Maybelline. And it's just to smooth out my skin. I said I wasn't going to use a, a corrector just to see how this foundation corrects along. And then on top of that, I'm going to use some of my Becca. Yeah, I got to use this. I got to. The only thing that keep my oily skin how it's supposed to be, and I stop using that. What well, how it's supposed to be keeps my oily skin from being so oily, and I just put it right here where I know my foundation usually creases. And lastly, I'm gonna put on my Tarte. Uh, clean slate timeless primer. It's about gone. I'm trying to use it up, but I stopped using it because I had been using that um, Tatcha uh, primer. I'm just gonna put this right here where I know I have big pores. And that's all we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of this Dream Color Foundation. Just squeeze out some. It's pretty loose. Yeah, kind of runny. And then this Dream Matte. I don't know how this is going to work because this is a hydrating foundation, but I still have it because it's a little too dark. And I mix those two together, we should come out with something pretty good. And no, I'm not going to use all this foundation. No, it's a lot. But yeah. I'm just going to do one side of my face first so you guys can see how it looks. And the two mix together pretty good. And you know what? To tell you the truth, I honestly, my plan was to get a matte foundation but when I got this dream matte mousse mousse even though it's hydrating 
it's a matte foundation. So I mixed these two this morning. I was like, okay, that's what I'm going with. And the coverage. Can y'all see that coverage? Look. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Let me finish my face. Cover my soul. Glow. <laughs> okay. Got all that on. Make sure I get my neck good and matching. And okay, guys. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. My face is all done up. Let me... Set it. Okay. Okay, I like the finish. I love the way this looks. Okay, y'all, for hair, this video today, we're going to be rocking this Empress Lace Front in style April, and she's in a Sombre 991. I don't know what it is, why I've been rocking these long wigs, why I've chose to do these long wigs, but I don't know. It's a vibe, y'all. It's a vibe. That color. Oh, and I got on orange today. What was I thinking? Okay. I think I was thinking she was a 1B. Look at them curls, though. Look at them curls. Let me get this out. Let's see. Wow, look at that. That body, though. Oh. Okay. Pretty long. <laughs> pretty long. Let's look at the parting space. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to pluck that parting space. It's just not wide enough. It's not, yeah. More than likely, I'm going to pluck that. On the inside, this is the original old hard lace. We got two combs here and one comb in the back. So I'm going to go get this lace cut off, do a little plucking inside that part, and I'll be right back, y'all. I did go ahead and open up the part. Yeah, I just plucked it a little bit. She is pretty, y'all. Look at this. She is just so pretty. You can see. See, I like that now. Let's feel. Can we feel that up? Okay. Okay. Let's put her on. And see what she looking like. I don't know why we had. Let me just say this. I don't know why we had all the lace in the front. Because the only portion is lace is that part. Y'all see that? So I don't know what was up with that. But yeah. Let's put her on. And see how she going to be looking. Come on sensational. She does have a, adjustable straps, if I didn't say that. She does have a two adjustable straps. Okay, I like where that part is sitting. They're getting this kinky hair down pat. You know how wigs used to have that, oh, used to have that uh, silky feel? The last few that I've been rocking, y'all, I don't, they don't have it. She got a little bit of cone here right now. I like this girl. You know what? As much as I don't like wearing long hair, lately all of the long hair units I've tried, I, I really have been loving. I'm just saying. Honestly, I have really, really been liking. I'm looking for my, uh. well, I guess I just have to use this big brush. Hope I don't mess this up. Put me some powder in here. Let 
And I want it wide, but I don't want it too wide. Yep, just like I just did. Dang it. And just feather that out. That part goes back pretty far. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. I keep looking at myself. <laughs> I like this hair. Okay, girl. Let's see. Oh, and that color is nice, too. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me turn around so y'all can see the back. And I don't even mind it being this long. I don't mind it at all. I feel like I need to flatten this hair out just a little bit. This is how I burn my forehead, y'all. Trying to flatten some stuff out. I don't need any. Yeah, that's way better. I'm rich to go now. I just like the layers right here. They are so pretty. Okay. I need to get this just a little bit more flat. This just, I don't know what they doing to these synthetic hairs, but they really, really are mimicking human hair. I mean, the, the feel, the look, they got it. Bring it right here. Ooh, wait, I like this. Do I look like her? Yeah. A little bit? <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, I'm ready to go. I was just sitting here. I was supposed to go see Chucky, and then I end up having to work. I didn't go. And one of my subscribers, well, I'm going to say my friends here on YouTube, because y'all know I be talking up the store, told me how good Godzilla was. So now that I can go today, that's what I'm getting ready to head out to go see. I'm going to see, uh, where is the spray? I'm going to see Godzilla. Yeah, I'm going to be up in there looking good, smelling good. Yeah, I spray my wigs too. You know, folks in line might want to sniff your hair. I need the hair to be smelling gorgeous. Okay. Oh, what did I do? That don't go over there. Yeah, just like this. Farrah Fawcett vibes, y'all. I've been, woo. Being one of Charlie's angels all week. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to end this right here. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, stay blessed. And I hope this helps somebody. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>